Hi guys, my name is Valere and welcome to my channel. Jeez, I think I hurt my neck when I was doing that. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and ready for the next juicy topic about immigration to Canada. However, before the start, I would like to invite to push and press and hit and click the button to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the notification icon so you will not miss anything. Today I have a little helper, my beautiful notepad. And I will suggest all of you to grab some paper at least and pen to take some notes if you need. People moving to Canada using uh, different ways. But however, in my videos we're gonna talk about only one way which is well known and the fastest and the easiest way if you're seeking a new life in Canada, which is express entry. If you watch my previous video, you will know which four things you require before you even start applying for immigration. Today we're going to discuss how to validate your professional degree without agency help. Oof, sounds really complicated, but it's not. However, if you decide to do, do application by yourself and not paying to the agency, you have to send your diploma for professional evaluation to World Education Services. There are three organizations who can evaluate your professional degree. The most common is WES, another one is IQS, and ICS. These organizations can provide you ECA report which is essential for your PR process. If you uh, completed your education out of Canada, you need assessment to be eligible to earn points on express uh, entry PR process. Don't worry, it's easy peasy. So the first thing you need to do is to open Google Chrome and type uh, World Educational Services. As you can see, it's pop up the first one. Click on that. You can see the ad, World Educational Services, get your credentials evaluated. So this is the right uh, link for ours. You can see on the right is World Educational Services West, which I mentioned. So click on that. Okay, here we appeared on the main page of West. Make sure that you choose Canada instead of United States. Before creating the account in WES in order to pay and get your ECA done, you need to check which documents you actually required. So go to Credential Evaluations and press Required Documents. Okay, here you can preview the list of the documents which you required by WES from you and your institution to start your credential evaluation. Very clear. Let's start. So a country, I will choose the Canada because I sent it to Canada. Applying for RSC, of course, yes, we are planning to immigrate. Country of education. So in my case, it is Russia, so I'm putting Russia. Status of your education. It's completed as it completed uh, several years ago. Type of education, I have master's of higher education, I choose this one. Name of institution, oh. Petra Zavodsk State University. Here we go. Enter creation name, is it management, management. Okay. View requirements. Required documents here are your best document requirements. Scroll down. Please double check the important information. Everything is super clear here. Go down your requirements checklist. So you, have, you can see the academic transcript and degree certificate. Check um, properly the information there they are required. So another thing which is number here is a postal. For example, in Russia, um, for completed study, we need to ask the authorized body of education of Russian Federation in our region to verify the original document by a post. So this is requirement apply for us, but I'm sure that even for your countries, it will require legalization of your diploma. So double check that information. That is how to send the documents. Make sure that 
each document will be the reference number which you need to put by pencil on the corner of the document. The reference number you will receive from VES itself. Another thing is do not send your original documents. That's really interesting because me and my friend when we were sending our documents we really um, struggled to understand because it is and do not send your original documents unless they are specifically requested by VES. When you go further in the application, it will say send uh, the original document to us and then and it will be start here and it's like do not send any original document to us. So it's really confusing. But in the end, we find out that we actually have to send the original diplomas to them. Hit the button start application and here we go. Where will you use your version? In Canada. Press. As we are immigrating to Canada, we have to press easy application for RCC. Start application. And then you have to enter your email address and press next. I'm not going to do that because I have the um, credentials with this. When you press next, you will create your account with WES, where you can do your payments, when you can upload all the documents you required. Now you have WES account, and it's time to legalize your professional degree. And in my case, I need to make sure that my professional degree has an apostle before I even send it to translation services. Guys, please note that it's important for you to find out the information how you can legalize diploma in your country. For instance, in Russia, we need to have a postal. A postal services in Russia are available almost everywhere. And it's just a simplified form of the legalization that ensures that my document, so in our case, my diploma, will be accepted for legal use in all countries that have signed the Hague Convention. If you need to do the apostle for your diploma, make sure that you know how to do it. You have your original diploma with apostle now, Great news, because in Russia we are taking so much time to do that. You have to do next, you have to translate your diploma. You can go to one of the translation agency in your country and you're going to translate your diploma in your original language into English. However, don't do that, don't do that. Here we go, a useful tip which you're going to know just now. Open Google and type professional legal translation services in Canada and here you are send your diploma it will take them literally three days to translate this is what you have to do the reason is why I'm telling you it now because the, later on they will find out that you need a legal translation from Canada itself not from your country not from UAE not from anywhere else so better to save your time and your money just send straight away to Canada, let them translate, put stamp on each page. Voila, now we have the translated diploma. So the cost for their services is... I can tell you! I can tell you! It's $35 Canadian dollars per page. Okay, let's sum up. You did legalization of your uh, diploma, which in our case is a postal. You, you sent your diploma for legalized professional Canadian translator services. Three, you created account and VES. You did the payment and you sent wired documents to them. Usually VES takes one or one and a half months to prepare your ECA report, which you can later on digitally submit to your Express Entry Profile. Or for example, if you went for the agency, you can submit this digital report to them. While your diploma is taking time, it's a good time to start to prepare yourself for the English test. And it's something that we're going to talk about in my next video and I hope you all will be there with me. If you have any questions, please let me know and my dog is really demanding for the attention now. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next week. Bye!